Hi friends, welcome back to Aditya RP Academy Bangalore. Now we are continuing to work with uh, email that is a path to underscore SM trip in Blue Prism RPA. If you really like this video, you please subscribe it and you please refer to your friends. Thank you. Now I'm going to go to like Blue Prism. So we have already created like one process here and open the process and drag and drop one action here, the action stage. So you guys know about this one. This is only one stage which you know where we can, you know, we can bring business objects from Object Studio to like a process studio. So open this the action stage and choose email pop3 slash like you know, um, backward slash there's the SMTB. If you observe here like a configure the action if you have like a lot of actions like configure delete messages we have already seen this part. First we will see like you know, we'll configure this one. Uh, to configure this one, it requires username of our email address, like an you know, email account, password, and POP3. POP3 stands for like you know, POP stands for like you know, post office protocol. SMTP stands for send mail transfer protocol. It requires an access to both POP3 server as well as like you know, SMTP server. And again, it requires like a port numbers uh, like POP3 and SMTP ports. Again, um, it requires um like uh, ssl uh, details ssl stands for secure sockets layer and before that here i'm using like a gmail address so since i'm using like a gmail address i would like to give like a, some permissions in gmail account so to do that go to like a gmail so here i'm using like a gmail and to issue and permissions just click on the icon then go to my account and click on like you know, sign on security and go all the way down there you can find out one option like uh, allow less secure uh, you know apps like you know, off by default this option will become like you know, off so let me make it like enable this one then go to blue prism so close this one Then whenever we turn, okay, turn on that less secure uh, apps, we'll, you know, we'll automatically get this message from Google. Then go to Blue Prism. So double click on action stage. Assign a name for this one, let us select configure. So email address. And again, it requires like username and password. Let me create like a two data items for this one. So one is for username and one is for uh, password. And the data type is text. And initial value is say RPA training in Bangalore. at gmail.com then click on ok and the password is is a secret And again here just drag and drop so username is here and the password is here and the pop3 server is type pop3 dot gmail dot com and again smtp dot gmail dot com so you can find out this information in in gmail so we'll see that one. Go to my account. And then click on here. And there you can find out, let us say, settings. And go to like a forwarding pop and IMAP. 
a configuration instructions. So here you can find out. So like gmail.com, like uh, smtp.gmail.com, like that. Okay, for the port numbers, you can see we already mentioned like in pop3.gmail.com and smtp.gmail.com and since it's an expression, keep it always in double quotes. And it is asking like it is asking like a pop three port number and SMTP port number to find out this port details. Go to Gmail and click on settings. Okay, select like a forwarding and pop slash IMAP, and then click on like a configuration instructions. So here you can find out the pop port number is like a nine ninety five. And SMTP port number is like a 587. Okay, go to Blue Prism. Okay, enter port numbers 995 and 587. Okay, for this uh, SSL means like a secure socket layer. Flag means you can make it like a true. Okay, so far we configure this uh, like you know, the server like uh, configure the protocol. Okay, please stay with us uh, for more videos in path three slash you know SMTP in Blue Prism RPA. Thank you.